Ah, Oya, welcome back to another Ha'avina Olelo Hawaii for our Ohana Punana Leo. Um, lana Kamana o Maika'i o Koapau in na Ohana. We hope that you folks are all doing Maika'i. And let's jump right into our Ha'avina Olelo Hawaii no Keiala. Na Pahu Hopu. Our goals for this Ha'avina are Helu Ekahi. Na ana ina pilino olelo ia omua ia. As we've been doing in the previous weeks, we're going to review grammatical patterns and structures that we previously learned. And tonight, though, we're going to be focusing on kapepeke henua me kekino ho ole. Again, the pepeke henua tells us the location of someone or something in space or time, right? This is how we can tell people where things are located. So we're going to review the pepeke henua in both its positive and negative forms. Maika'i, helu elua. Again, we're going to ho'oma'ama'a. We're going to continue to practice using the kahulu and being able to identify it and where its proper place is in the structure. Okay? Helu ekolu. Our last goal for this evening is to ho'oma'ama'a ina hua olelo o kahakai. All right, so we're going to practice our vocabulary words that pertain to the beach. Yeah? So when we go to the kahakai, we have access to words that we can use to describe things that are usually found at kahakai at the beach. Oh yeah, maika iloa, e ho'omakakako, let's begin. All right, so we can see here we have our lovely images again, and then at the top we have our pepeke henua, and we use the pepeke henua to express where or when someone or something is located. As you can see, we are going to translate from English into Hawaiian. So the first thing we need to do in order to successfully translate this, we need to figure out what is the pico. Let's take a look. The floating woman is above the coral. This woman is the pico or the subject of the sentence. All right, so we define that. And the second part of the sentence is the ave, right? above the coral. That's where this woman is located. All right. So one of the things that we need to state up front is that every pepeke henua begins with the word aya. Anytime you use a pepeke henua, you know that the word aya will begin that sentence every time. Okay. So we have aya, right? That is the po'o of this pepeke. Now we need to put the pico in there because it's always po'o, pico, ave. So po'o, we have aya. Okay, that's known. That's a given. Now we need to define the pico. We said it was floating woman. All right, so floating is a kahulu, right? Because floating is describing what kind of woman. So in Olelo Hawaii, the noun comes first, and then the descriptive word comes after, right? The kahulu follows or comes after the kikino or the noun. So wahine is woman. What kind of woman? The question is, what is the word for floating? According to our vocabulary list, the word for floating is lana. So what kind of woman is this? It is a wahine lana. In other words, a floating woman. And where is this floating woman located? Above the coral. Okay, so we learned previously above maluna o. Okay, and then the new word is coral. So how do we say coral in Hawaiian? The word for koro in Hawaiian is koa. So we would use ke koa. All right. So, so far we have aya. And then we have floating woman, which would be kawahine lana. Where is she located? Maluna o, right? Above. Maluna o. Above what? Ke koa. Maika'i. Let's ho oya. Let's confirm. Ah, polole no. Aya which is marked in green just to kind of help set it off. And what is the pico that's underlined? Kawahine maika'i. Remember now we also have the kahulu. And the kahulu is in the pico position describing the pico. Again, kawahine. What kind of wahine? Wahine lana. Where? Above what? Maluna o ke koa. Let's say the entire sentence together. Aya kawahine lana maluna o ke koa. Okay. The floating woman is above the coral. Mai kailoa ho'omawaku. Okay. The hot sand is under the long tree. All right. So we need to figure out what is the pico of this sentence. Did you say hot sand? Polo lei. Aye. Okay. So we have a kahulu in there too as well. So start thinking in Olelo Hawaii and how to say hot sand. That is our pico. And then the location. Now it's not above, but it's under. Malalo below the what? 
the long tree. Ah, here we have another kahulu again in this ave. It's not just a tree, but it is a long tree. Yeah. So we should be able to say, oh, okay. So tree is kekumula o. And how do we say long? Kololei lo ihi. So, so far we have aya, the hot sand. Keone vela maikai is located where? Malalo o what? Kekumula o. What kind of kumula o? A kumula o lo ihi. Maikai loa. That's ho oya. Pololei aya keone vela malalo o kekumula o lo ihi. Maikai. Again, we have vela, which is in bold because it is a kahulu describing what type of sand in the pico position. And then we have malalo o, which is under. Under what? Kekumula o, the tree. What kind of tree? Kekumula o, lo ihi. I hope this is coming together, yeah? As we translate from the English into the Hawaiian, we can look at the English, identify its parts, and start to formulate the olala Hawaii. Maika iloa, ho'omawaku. All right, we have two images here. Let's see what the first one is. Kalehua is with Kaloke's mother at the beach. So we need to first identify the pico. Any mana'o. If you said Kalehua, mahika'i pololei. Kalehua is the pico of this sentence. He is the subject of this sentence, Kalehua. All right, so we know we're going to have aya. So, so far we have aya. Now we have Kalehua. Kalehua is an ioa, right? We, there's a rule for ioa. We can't just say aya kalehua. We have to have something preceding the word kalehua, the name kalehua, and it is called the ami pico o, right? The ami that marks the pico, which is an okina o. Aya o kalehua. Who is kalehua with? I kamakuahine o kaloke. We can also say kaloke's mother in Olewa Hawaii. But an easier way to translate is the mother of Kaloke. Yeah. So Makolelo Hawaii, Kamakuahine o Kaloke. Okay. Where is Kalehua and the mother of Kaloke located? Pololei at the beach. So that is our Ave. Yeah. We have two Ave in this sentence with the mother of Kaloke at the beach. So how do we say at the beach? Ma, you can use e or ma to mean in, on, or at. And then the beach is kahakai, right? So kahakai is a special word because it doesn't require any kai. You don't have to say ma ke kahakai. You can just say ma kahakai, okay? So we have aya. Then we said o kalehua. And then we said, okay, who is kalehua with? Kamakuahine. O Kaloke, which is Kaloke's mother, yeah, the mother of Kaloke. And where are they located? E or Ma, both are correct. Where? Kahakai, yeah, at the beach. Maikai. So let's check our answer. And here it is. Polole Aya O Kalehua, which is our pico. It is an Ioa. It requires an Ami Pico O. And who is Kalehua with? I kamakuahine o kaloke, yeah, with the mother of kaloke. In other words, kaloke's mother, where? Makahakai, yeah, at the beach. Mahika iloa. Let's take a look at our next one. Kane ohe is on Oahu, yeah, it's located on Oahu. Yeah, Kane ohe is a place, yeah, it is a town, it is in Nahupua'a on the island of Oahu, as you can see there in the image. And Kane Ohe happens to be the pico of this sentence. Yeah. What is the pico? The subject. Okay. It's not Oahu. Oahu is not the subject. It is the location of the subject. Okay. So Kane Ohe. So again, Aya, we know that it comes first. Aya Kane Ohe. Can you just say Aya Kane Ohe? No, Aole. Kane Ohe also requires an Okina O. Yeah. The Ami Pico O. Aya o kane ohe, where? In, on, or at. Okay, we can use e or ma. They're both correct. Where? Oahu, yeah, the island of Oahu. And just keep in mind that Oahu does have an okina, but it appears between the o and the a. 
not before. Yeah, o ahu. So aya o kane ohe, where? E or ma o ahu. Not too bad. Yeah, that shouldn't be too pakiki. We should be pololei. So let's check. Ai pololei aya o kane ohe e o ahu. In this case, we're using the ami e as opposed to ma, but they're both correct. Yeah, they're interchangeable. Aya o kane ohe ma o ahu hiki no. Aya o kane ohe e o ahu hiki no. All right, maika ilo e na ohana hoomawaku. All right, our last sentences of the pepekehe nua in the positive form, right? The pepekehe nua ma'amau is they three are on the big floaty in the deep sea. Okay, wow. I'm hearing a lot of kahulu in this sentence. Yeah, big is a kahulu. Deep is a kahulu as well. So we just need to find the words for that in Olelo Hawaii and translate accordingly. But first, as always, we need to identify the pico. So what is the pico in this sentence? I, they three are on the big floating in the deep sea. So we have aya. We know that already. Followed by they three. Which is a papani, yeah, a papani helunui that we covered in the previous ha'avina. The word for they three is lako polole, lako. Yeah, lako, they three or more, ma or e, the big floaty. The word for that is mea ho'olana. It is a thing that keeps you afloat. Yeah, so the floaty is a mea ho'olana, and we want to describe that floaty as big. So what is the word for big? Kamea ho'olana nui. Yeah, in Olelo Hawaii, it follows the thing, the floaty. In the deep sea. Ah, okay. So in can be e or ma. How do we say the sea? We had this before. Ke kai. Ai, mai kai. Ke kai. And then we add the kahulu. After that, the word for deep is pololei hohonu. It means deep, and in this context, it's referring to the ocean or the sea. All right, so in our Olelo Hawaii, we're going to put together in our mind or on a piece of paper. We start off with the word, aya polole. They three is our papani helunui, our papani that's indicating three or more people. And what are they on? They are on the big floaty, so kamea ho'olana nui, where? Ma ke kai or i ke kai, what kind of kai? Ke kai hohonu, right? Let's check our answer. We should have it by now. Let's take a look. Aya, I, lako, day three or more. Okay, that is the pico of our sentence. And then we have our ami ma in on or at, followed by kamea ho'olana. The mea ho'olana is the floaty, right? What kind of floaty? We have a floaty nui, yeah? Kamea ho'olana nui maikai. And where is this taking place? Ma ke kai. Yeah, in the sea, in the ocean. What kind of sea or ocean? Ohonu. Ai. Ma ke kai. Ohonu. Maikai loa. No leila. Aya la ko. Ma kamea ho'olana nui. Ma ke kai. Ohonu. Maikai loa. I think we're getting the hang of this, yeah? Here is our last example of a pepeke hinua in its usual positive form. We have another papani here as our pico. Now we can see we too. Yeah, that asterisk means that it's a specific kind of we. There's we kaua and there's we maua. When you see the asterisk, that means we're referring to we maua. Okay, so keep that in mind. Whenever you see that little hoku, what is the papani or the pronoun for we to? Maua. That is the pico of the sentence. Okay. And then we have are near the wet pebbles. E or ma can also be translated as near something. Yeah. What are we near to? The wet pebbles. Ah, oya. Oh yeah. So we have the word pebbles, which we haven't had before. It is on our vocabulary list, however. The word for pebble or pebbles in Olelo Hawaii is ili ili, right? We heard of the ili ili stones. What kind of pebbles? 
Here's our kahulu right here. Wet, all right? Wet pebbles. Hulu is the word for wet, and pebbles is ili ili. So in Olelo Hawaii, we say the thing first, and then we follow the descriptive word after, right? The kahulu comes after. And then it gives us the location, yeah? At where? A place called Popolana. All right, Popolana, for those of you who are on the island of Maui, uh, more specifically in Hana, you might be familiar with this place called Popolana. Maika'i, let's take a look at our Olelo Hawaii, and hopefully we got everything in its correct place. Pehea, how did you do? All right, so Aya, Maua, remember we said the we with the hoku, the star is Maua, where? Ika ili ili pulu near the... Ili ili stones, what kind of ili ili stones? Ili ili pulu, wet stones, where? Mount Popolana. And again, Popolana is um, an area near the ocean in Hana, a beach with black sand or black pebbles. Yeah, Ilikimekeya. As we can see in the image, we have a group of pebbles. No Leila. Maika Iloa, hopefully you got all of that correct. You knew how to identify the pico of the sentence, which in this case were both papani, they three, lako, we two, maua. That's pretty easy. And then the rest was just all the ave, yeah, identifying the ave and knowing where to put the kahulu. So Maika I, that was our exercise for the Pepeke Henu. Now, all we're going to do is negate it, and we're going to go through this real quickly because all we need to do in the Pepeke Henua Ho'ole is substitute the word aya with a'ole, and that changes the sentence to negative. So let's take a look, and we'll move through this very quickly. Enanakako. All right, Pepeke Henua Ho'ole, where or when someone or something is not, yeah, where it's not located, Okay. So again, the floating woman is not above the coral, all right? In Olelo Hawaii, we just add the word aole and everything stays the same. Aole kawahine lana maluna oke koa. Maikai. Next one. The hot sand is not under the long tree. We said that that was aya keone vela malalo o ke kumula au lo ihi. Now we're just going to add on aole. Let's check. Aole keone vela malalo o ke kumula o. What kind of kumula o? Lo ihi. Okay, maikai. Omawaku. Kalehua is not with Kaloke's mother at the beach. Kalehua is someplace else. All right, so all we're doing again is changing aya to aole, and then everything else is the same. So we said aya o kalehua i. Kamokuahine o kaloke ma kahakai. That's what we said in the previous example. Now we're just going to negate that by adding the word aole. Let's take a look. Pololei aole o kalehua i kamokuahine o kaloke ma kahakai. Mai kai. Next one. Kane ohe is not an oahu. We said in the positive form. Aya o kane ohe i o ahu. That was our positive statement. And now we're going to negate this by simply replacing the word aya with aole, and we have aole o kane ohe i o ahu. All right, maika iloa, ho'omawaku. They three are not on the big floaty in the deep sea. We said in the positive form, aya la ko ma kamea ho'olana nui ma ke kai ho'honu. So now we're just going to add aole in place of aya, and we should have aole lako makamea ho'olana nui make kai ho'honu polole mai kai. Aole replaces aya, everything else stays the same. Mai kai, last one. We, with the hoku, we too are not near the wet pebbles at Popolana. Okay? We're not there, we're someplace else. And in the positive form, we said that this sentence was aya. Baua i ka ili ili pulu ma popolana. So let's negate it with the word aole, and it should look like this. Aole maua i ka ili ili pulu ma popolana. Oye valeno, e ho'o mawaku i ka ho'o pa'a ha'avina, keep studying your ha'avina, 
talking with your fellow ohana, with your kumu huiki pai pai, and using as much of this as you can with your keiki. Yeah, because this is what it's all about. Being able to converse with your keiki anywhere. Yeah, not just at home, but anywhere in any context, in any domain. For this example, we were at kahakai. So the next time you go to kahakai, use these words. Yeah, use these phrases, especially the vocabulary. We, we have this vocabulary that we've learned, words of kahakai. And now all we got to do is plug them into the patterns. Yeah, plug them into the various types of pepeke, whether it's a pepeke painu, or a pepeke henua, or a pepeke aikehe, or a pepeke aike o, we can use these vocabulary words in these domains and have fun and enjoy. Enjoy being able to express your mana'o in Olelo Hawaii with the proper grammar and words that will allow us to put together sentences so that we can communicate effectively with each other from a Hawaiian perspective. Oya vale no no kia papa, mahalo kia hui ana, E malama pono o ko ea, a ikavaku pono, a hui ho kako. Aloha.